Thank you for tuning in. As you can see, I do have a major, major announcement to make. Our beautiful baby girl, London Monroe, has entered this world just two days ago on January 5th, 2022, coming in at 19 and a half inches and seven pounds, six ounces. And she is just absolutely the most beautiful, perfect baby girl I have ever seen. And I want to thank everyone for their thoughts and prayers. Uh, all your support has been amazing, and I really appreciate all of you guys during this time and got to give a huge shout out to Farah, uh, the beautiful mother and my girlfriend for bringing such a healthy, beautiful baby girl into this world. So we are truly feeling blessed right now, but we got to get back into the crypto space. Obviously, major, major price action underway, major news underway. And as I've been telling you guys, I am still expecting this January pump. Let's get into it. So this is gonna be a quick update. We're gonna take a look at some charts. I did find a major, major signal in the XRP chart that I'm gonna to have to show you guys at the end. And this is kind of confirming my pump that I've been talking about here. But as you guys know, I was talking about how the Bitcoin bull run was over at the end of November, talking about how I was expecting this market to top out, or specifically for Bitcoin, to top out on December 4th. I said with 100% certainty, kind of just making a silly TikTok saying, with 100% certainty, I'm expecting Bitcoin to top out on December 4th, and that is the end of the Bitcoin bull run. Now, I was wrong about Bitcoin topping out again. However, you guys saw that major, major liquidation event that we had on December 4th. This was the biggest shakeout in cryptocurrency history. Everyone was expecting this end of the bull run, blow off top, euphoric moment into December. Clearly, clearly we did not get that. Okay, they shook us out. But we were correct about that being the date to watch, the December 4th new moon. Okay, we were talking about how that was going to be an interesting, interesting date to look out for. And we were expecting the market to roll over from there. So we've been watching the market move sideways since then. Okay, we were talking about how this support that we had at 45 was holding for Bitcoin, but we were struggling to break 52. Now, this really, really has been driving people crazy because the market was moving sideways and just boring people out and people were so mad that we didn't get this blow off top. And as I've been saying over the last month on all your altcoins, I was talking about taking profits when they started to pump out of the blue, like Terra Luna, some of these other coins. I was telling people in my Discord, okay, these coins are reaching back out to their previous all-time high, back in a new all-time high. Take your profits, okay? Start to ladder out of your positions because this is the end of the bull run. And uh, Bitcoin topped out, rolled over sideways now, and now it has finally broke down to the downside. Now, we are still holding right here above 42K, which is good, but I am expecting us to briefly dip below 40K, and I'm looking for us to hold 40K on the weekly. Now, the weekly close will come in on Sunday just in a few days here, so we got to watch this closely. There's definitely a scenario over the next day or two where we could pull back to 38K. I want you guys to look out for this. Pull back to 38K, but I'm expecting us to close the weekly above 40. On Sunday, that weekly close will come in. Let's see what happens here. But what we're, what we're looking for is for Bitcoin to kind of just move sideways, kind of just to hold this structure. I don't need it to pump again, but we're just trying to avoid an absolute dump. The absolute dump scenario below 40K is going to drag down the whole market. Um, obviously XRP is in a unique position and I'll get into that at the end of this video, but, but for the other altcoins, for the rest of your altcoins, we're looking for Bitcoin and Ethereum to kind of just move sideways and the liquidity to slide on over into your altcoins. Now, the major catalyst that I am seeing right now for this whole market is XRP is the ripple lawsuit. A lot of people might say that that is a stretch, but I mean, what else is happening in the space right now? Now, I'm going to show you guys this uh, this time wonderland chart, and I'll talk about what I'm seeing in the rest of the altcoins. So right here, you're looking at the time wonderland chart, and no one wanted to hear it when I was telling people that these projects would not be sustainable, that you were going to find a liquidity squeeze, and that's exactly what's happened. They pulled the liquidity from this thing. They moved it over to something else. 
I don't know what bullshit they're doing with this platform now, but it is down 82% from the all-time high, just taking an absolute beating. Okay, and one of the comments that I read today was, yeah, my initial investment is way down, but at least my APY returns have me at almost break even. And it just goes to show the absolute denial that people are in about one, that we're entering into a bear market, and that two, these platforms are sustainable. You know, and, and so yes, the promises of a 10,000% return, 80,000% APY sounds great. You read through their story, their roadmap, and it sounds all fine and dandy until these liquidity squeeze happens like I've been warning about. So this is the Time Wonderland chart, 82% down from the all-time high. And uh, the rest of the altcoins are bleeding out as well. Now, the NFTs, the more speculative bets, are the ones that are just getting killed. Okay, But we've seen some of these other altcoins, like I mentioned, Luna, uh, return to a new all-time high. These are great opportunities for you to exit out of these positions, ladder out of your positions on their way up. There is not much more liquidity that's going to flow into these coins. Okay, So uh, you know, with time here, with these DeFi plays, what I've been telling you guys is take out your initial investment as soon as you make it back. You got to reduce your, your risk. You got to reduce your exposure. These are very, very risky plays. So if you do these degenerate plays, take your money and run. Okay, Don't get caught holding the bag on these coins on these ridiculous platforms. If you're going to be degenerate, if you're going to play these games, take your money and run. But nonetheless, uh, let's talk about something that I just noticed here in the XRP chart that has me feeling extremely bullish, confirming the XRP pump into January that I've been talking about. Let's take a look. So on December 4th, XRP, just like the rest of the space, took a major, major dump. This coin is always more manipulated than the rest of the major altcoins. One of the most manipulated coins in this space, and we know why. But as we can see, they dumped this thing all the way down to 40 cents. And, and you can see the channel that XRP's been trading in. So they dumped it way below it down to 40 cents. And then it did actually pump above just briefly uh, above that support or sorry that resistance but then it came back down into this channel and we've just been seeing it move sideways with the rest of the market still holding support at 76 cents which is good to see xrp's already been suppressed so much so even though they wicked it down to 40 cents they can't it, it's very hard for them to push this one down because it's already been so suppressed it's, it's one of those that is actually holding support pretty well but I just found something major here in the charts and I got to show you guys this. So, so what we're looking at here is two death crosses that we've had in the charts over this previous year and what happened after that. Now usually a death cross is a bearish uh, indicator and that is the 50 moving average crossing below the 200 moving average. Obviously moving averages are lagging indicators but something that we've seen over this past year is two death crosses that came in for XRP followed by massive, massive pumps. So let's take a look here at this February death cross. Okay, so this is when XRP was trading at about 25 cents. And following this death cross, we got a massive 180% pump up to 76%, which funny enough is the support that we're holding right now. So they got this coin absolutely tuned in absolutely perfected the way that they manipulate this coin and they love to manipulate this coin more than any other crypto like i've been saying they will pump this coin harder than the rest and they will dump it harder than the rest so we have to ride the wave but as you can see here this february death cross came in followed by a 180 percent pump to the 76 cent level now this is the july pump and remember these are both in 2021 so february of 21 now we're looking here at july of 21 so the death cross came in once again while we're at that 51% support level, which is where we just wicked down to just, what was that, a month or two ago? So as you can see, and these levels that they have this thing tuned into are perfect. But from that 51% support level, we did about 170%, taking us all the way to that $1.40 high that we reached in August. So... As you can see, February, we had a 180% pump. Here in July, we had about 170% pump following these death crosses. So let's fast forward to the charts that we're looking at today. We had another death cross come in just uh, you know five days ago on January 2nd. 
And so if we go from the 76 cent support level that we've been holding here, and we do 170% pump from there, that is going to take us back to $2. Now I know that doesn't excite a lot of you guys, and, and I'm looking for much bigger price action for XRP as well. But this is an indicator to show where we could be going. Remember, if we do get back up to that $2 level, it will not take much to pump this thing back up to all time high. Once this thing gets back up to that level, they can move it so much faster. They can they can provide such bigger price action from that level. Um, remember, if, if we get 170% pump and we're back up to two bucks, well, if we get another 100% pump from there, we're back into all time high at four or five dollars. Now, my targets are still holding for seven to thirteen dollars because that is the full 4.236 Fibonacci extension that blockchain backer has been talking about, that we've been talking about. So I'm still holding my targets at seven to thirteen dollars. And what I showed you guys here is if we get this 170% pump, sometime between now and when the discovery in the Ripple versus SEC case ends on January 19th, that time frame here that I have highlighted is what I'm really looking at. Just the hype alone around this case, I think is gonna bring massive price action in for XRP. So the previous two death crosses that we had this year led to 170% pump and then 180% pump in February. Something similar would take us back to $2. And, and what I'd be looking for is for this action to happen before the case ends, before a settlement gets announced. Then if a settlement gets announced, all bets are off. This coin is ready to go on an absolute tear, seven to $13 easily within range. And so the narrative is lining up. I'm not gonna talk about the narrative here, obviously just showing you the price action in the charts and what we've seen in the past. Uh, this is not financial advice. However, I want you guys to be ready for this move. I've been talking about a January pump. I've, I'm getting mocked in the comments right now on TikTok and YouTube. People are commenting, how's that January pump coming in? Well, specifically, I was really just talking about the altcoins and XRP. But specifically for XRP, the narrative is matching up. The charts are matching up. So let's hold tight here, okay? We're only seven days into January. Let's be patient here. We have a lot of excitement that's gonna be coming in with that Ripple versus SEC case coming in. I'm gonna cover the, the news in regards to the case in another video, but for now, here's what we're seeing in the charts. The charts are matching the narrative. I want you guys to be ready for this, not financial advice. I'm not picking up any more XRP at this point. I'm waiting to make sure that the, you know this bear market isn't coming in, but this coin is in such a unique position, unlike the rest of the space, I want you guys to be ready. We will see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. We'll see ya.